What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on TSLA ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the potential amazing news of uh, upcoming Tesla's partnership. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point uh, and I've told you that we have a double bottom pattern and this is a very bullish pattern and we hit exactly the range of 0.382. It's a price point of $980.87 and from this point uh, we went higher. And I've told you that the 0.382 is your first accumulation point if you want to invest in this uh, asset. And second one might be at the 0.5 level at around $90 price point and the golden pocket. R the range in between uh, $794 and $817. So, Technically, you might have a position from this point and from this point uh, you might be up uh, for about 15% during just uh, one week. Very, very good uh, achievement and congratulations to all of you who took this trade. So, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis in uh, just several minutes. But for now, let's continue with the news related to this company. First of all, let's start with this one. We are on marketwatch.com. And uh, this article was published on November 19th and it's titled Tesla stock surges again after a wheat bush boosts price target to match the street high. And the subtitle is uh, Prolific analyst Dan Eves raised his price target to $1400, saying the demand trend in China has uh, reversed aggressively in a bullish way. And let me quote to this. Shares of Tesla rallied toward a fourth straight gain on Friday after wheat bush analyst Dan Eves boosted his price target by 27% to match the highest on Wall Street, saying the EV revolution is uh, playing out as expected. And on top of that, Whitbush's Eves reiterated the outperform rating he's had on Tesla since April, but raised his stock uh, price target to 1400 from 1100. His target is now tied with Jeffers uh, Philip uh, Hutches uh, for the highest of uh, the 41 analysts served by Fact Set. The target implies about 24% upside uh, from current levels. And this is extremely bullish news that drives the price uh, during last several sessions. And let me show you another news. We are on Yahoo Finance and this article was published on November 19th and it's titled The Apple car is coming and Tesla had better watch out. And let me quote you this. Apple venturing into cars might shake up the electric vehicle market in the same way the iPhone revolutionized the mobile communications industry in 2007. So says Morgan Stanley. And let me quote you this. The world's biggest company by market value plans to launch a car with the full serve driving capabilities by 2025, Bloomberg News reported. The 10 trillion global mobility market is up uh, for grabs and if Apple enters this space, it could be a clear negative for car makers such as Ford Motor Company and Tesla Incorporated. Morgan Stanley Autos analyst Adam Jonas wrote in a note. And I have to say that I don't agree with this uh, statement and let me show you this news. We are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on November 19th and it's titled Apple car won't kill other EV autonomous vehicles makers with Bush then ifs. Again, then ifs. And let me quote you this. Whitbush Securities Managing Director Dan Eves uh, said Friday that the introduction of an autonomous car from Apple wouldn't necessarily become a killer for the incumbent players in the electric vehicle space. Speaking to Bloomberg TV, Eves argued that there will be such enormous growth within the EV and autonomous vehicle spaces that many companies will be able to thrive into the sectors. It is not a zero-sum game, he said, adding that Apple's entry into the space is a matter of when and not if. Despite the potential entry by a massive competitor, Eves remains bullish on Tesla and sees an opportunity for legacy car makers as well like General Motors, Ford and Volkswagen. He added uh, that Apple could partner with a legacy producer to bring its offering to scale. And I have to say it is a very interesting statement, but I don't think that uh, they might uh, partner with the legacy producer. In my opinion, they have to partner with the supplier of full self-driving software. 
And here is my main assumption. Let me show you first of all this news that was published on October the 8th and it's titled Tesla wants to share full self-driving with other automakers when it has yet to deliver it to people who paid for it. And I don't want to dive deep into the second part because they are already delivered it. But uh, let me quote you this. At Tesla's shareholders meeting yesterday, Elon Musk announced that Tesla is considering licensing its full self-driving software to other automakers. And he said, I think Tesla's open to licensing autonomy because I think autonomy will be such a significant lifesaver and preventer of injuries that it is not a technology we want to keep to ourselves. So I think it will be morality right to license it to other manufacturers if they would like to use it. And in my opinion, we are about to see some kind of announcement from Apple and Tesla of their partnership in a field of full self-driving software. Because by 2025, even for Apple, it is almost impossible to make uh, this type of uh, researches and make uh, this type of uh, software from scratch. And that's why, in my opinion, it will be a very wise decision to partner with one of uh, the supplier of this type of uh, software. And uh, guess who is the best on this field? Definitely it is the Tesla. And that's why, in my opinion, Tesla has a huge potential with this upcoming partnership. And guys, it is just my opinion, but I think we will see it in a matter of several months. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as you can see, we broke uh, the top of our B wave with this movement to the upside. First of all, we had uh, this uh, range as our resistance and we have uh, two attempts, at least two attempts to break it. But on the third attempt, we broke it with a very good uh, volume right here. And uh, we might uh, have uh, some kind of retracement in order to retest this level. And let me mark it for you, this range of uh, the top of the B wave. And uh, with the good conviction of volume, we have to have a bounce in order to achieve new targets. And let me show you where you might see the same exact pattern. If I zoom out a little bit, we have exactly the same pattern as a double bottom pattern right here at this uh, retracement. And we also broke uh, this uh, top of the B wave. And right here at this very moment, I made a video about uh, an upcoming target. And uh, we hit uh, this target to the tick. Let me show it to you. I project this target and uh, it was a 0.786 Fibonacci extension level. And we hit it to the tick and then had a bounce. So, we can uh, project another target by pulling Fibonacci extension tool from this bottom, from the bottom of this wave, to the top of this wave, and to the bottom of the retracement. And with the assumption that we have to land our next wave, and uh, if uh, it is a uh, repeatable pattern, we might land at the range of uh, 0.786. It is a uh, $1,528. But also, we have a confluence level with our secondary target, from this range, it is one to one extension and uh, potentially we might hit first of all the target of $1400. And it is also a confluence uh, level with this price target of Whitbush's Dan Eves forecast. So we have a triple confluence uh, target of $1400 and this means if uh, we will hold this line, if we won't break uh, this support and if we won't go lower than the level of uh, 0.382, it is $980, we have uh, more chances to hit these targets. And uh, if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!